The human body has about 11 million sensory receptors. Did you know that? And of those 11 million sensory receptors, 10 million of those are dedicated to vision. We are more dependent on vision than anything else. So if we focus all our mental energy into the future, the perspective of our future shifts because it means that we are focusing on futuristic perspectives, right? If you focus on your past, you become stuck in your past because you ain't going that way. You are supposed to be going towards your future. So in other words, a small change in what you see and where you focus can lead to a big change in what you do. And so with that said, I want to focus on a perspective shift that happened for me when I listened to my mentor, Dr. Miles Monroe. I was a kid. I used to be really afraid of walking through a graveyard for any reason. Until I heard this message from Dr. Miles Monroe, and he said that the richest place on earth is a place right there in your neighborhood. It's not the gold mines of South Africa. It's not even the diamond mines of Congo. It's not the, the oil fields of Houston. The richest place in the world is the cemetery. If I could find a way to mine the mines of those in the cemetery, I would be the richest man in the world. Because there in the cemetery lie uh, the minds of people whose songs we will never hear, whose uh, poetry we will never read, whose invention we would never be able to partake of. There in the cemetery lie the minds of men and the gifts of men that died with them. There in the cemetery are gifts that make God weak. As soon as I heard that, I decided that I don't want to be the reason that God weeps. I decided that when I finally die, I'm going to die empty. When I transition out of this world, I refuse to live this world having been used by everybody else but God. And so I'm going to die empty. But the way to do that is to make sure that I deposit every single thing that God has put me to deposit in the earth. In my desire in teaching you here about vision today is so that you too can be a partaker of those who have been sent in the world to deposit all that the Lord has sent you to deposit or you will become what Dr. Miles called a generational thief. A generational thief is someone who comes to the earth and unfortunately does not deposit that which the Lord has sent them to deposit. And so when I learned this, I began to ask God, what is my purpose? What is my vision? And you know what I learned? I learned that purpose and vision are intertwined and cannot be separated. Your purpose is God's vision for your life. Now, next, I'm going to define vision. And so vision is what we're going to talk about next.